What is up everybody? This is Kuda from Team X Eggs, your one-stop shop for everything co-op in day seven of my 365 games in a whole entire year. It means a game every day, brand spanking new for you guys. And today, if you haven't guessed already, I'm doing Katamari Forever from the Katamari Damacy series for the PlayStation 3. That's just one of my favorite titles of all time. It's probably going to be one of the craziest, wackiest, strangest things you've probably seen, if not in this series ever, and I just, I have, I could not wait to bring this video for you guys. Alright, where well, we doing my uh, mashup Monday, where I pretty much play anything and everything that I want, really, just, and the game I'm bringing today is what you see here. <laughs> um, you probably have no idea what this game is about, just by looking at it. I mean, it's pure craziness all over, but don't worry, we'll get your feet wet real quick. Basically, a Katamari is a clump, and it's your task with, like, you know, rolling it around and collecting as much stuff as you can for one reason or another. Sometimes it's to build stars, planets, uh, rebuild memories for your terrible deadbeat dad of a father who's, you know, the king of all cosmos. <clears throat> and, yeah, you'll... You'll get to see in just a second. <laughs> uh, there's not really many words that can be used to describe this game other than just wild, crazy, random Japanese games that I love. I'm going to go straight to Robo King and we're going to get started right away so I can show you guys something. We're going to be making uh, the Big Bang. The Big Bang. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're going to go Katamari Drive. We're going to pick a nice song, some nice beats. This game is known for its music. Always got some really nice stuff. There we go. We're gonna go. We'll go the new style. Here we go. All right, get ready, guys. Just brace yourselves for what you're about to witness because this is one of the greatest achievements in all of gaming. All right, not me and what I'm about to do, but this game in general. All right. <clears throat> Basically, we're gonna start off the size of a like a large ball. And we're going to take over the world, all right? We're going to be taking anything, everything we can find, from the smallest of things to the biggest things, and we're making this Katamari huge, all right? Here we go. Here's where we start. All right, because we're going to be making the Big Bang here, so it's going it's, to it's gotta be one kilometer in size, all right? It's going to be huge. Here we go. All right, so I'm playing in Katamari Drive mode, which is a much faster pace mode. Usually, you roll around at like a slow, leisurely pace. But not today. We're going to be going balls out as quick as we can, as fast as we can. People are knocking us around right now because we're just not big enough. <clears throat> but this game, what I love is it brings about like all new meaning to the term greatness from small beginnings. Because you can literally start as small as a golf ball in this game and end up just taking over the entire planet with your Katamari. People, buildings, clouds, celestial beings, you'll see what I mean a little bit. And I've just always loved this game. It's something nice, simple, not a lot I have to think about when I'm playing. It's not super competitive or uh, stressful. I can just roll around and basically just play the game. And I love games like that. The uh, developer of this game also did Nobi Nobi Boy, which I'll probably be doing uh, one of my days for this series. <clears throat> and you can just roll the ball. Just roll the ball around, pick up stuff, collect stuff. I love collecting stuff. So this game was like, it just had my name written all over it. <clears throat> just got it big enough to go across that little uh, pavilion thing over there. We're going we're gonna to stick around here for a little while longer, pick up everything we might have missed. Hopefully I don't take too much time so we can get to that uh, thingy. Cleaned up the whole basketball team, the playground, done. Pick up that taiko drum. <clears throat> and I love it because the game keeps track of everything that you pick up. And you can go back to look at it later. You can uh, check out your collection, and there's just tons and tons and tons. I don't know how I can like say it anymore. Just so much stuff to collect in this game. It's ridiculous, and, it, and it's a blast to play because you always have just something new to discover, new to find, something new to pick up. And definitely check this like, out if you guys are interested. Uh, there's a bunch of different games. Katamari Damacy is this. The game that started all on PlayStation 2, you can pick it up for probably like 20 bucks from a GameStop or something. This is the, one of the newer ones for uh, consoles. And it's got uh, a bunch of uh, remix stages from the classic games, which I'll 
try and get a couple in for you guys after this one if we can uh, succeed in picking up enough stuff to take over this world and uh, yeah this is the blast tell me what you guys think about this game you guys probably think CUDA you're freaking crazy man but I love you which is fine with me okay <laughs> Oh man, I can be crazy, but as long as you guys are enjoying what you see, enjoying what I got for you guys, I can go to sleep happy every night. Speaking of that, I really appreciate all the guys that are liking the videos, who are uh, commenting on the videos, rooting me on day by day, because this is going to be an ordeal. Uh, work is going to get really busy for me soon, and uh, I'm going to tough it out. I'm going to tough it out for you guys, because that's, that's who I'm doing it for. Not for me, but for everybody else who just loves video games as a passion, who's interested in anything and everything that could be shown video game wise, because I am trying to show it to you, so. Let's see, we're gonna go this way now. We're gonna be breaking out of the cities, going to the countryside. There's Stonehenge, uh, yeah. We're gonna be going over the whole world. You'll see locations you might recognize. Like, here's the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. Along with the, or no, that's actually in Rome, stupid me, I think. And there's the uh, in, uh, uh, Eiffel Tower, I can't even think about it. I've been there and I've been up the damn thing, I think I remember it. The Roman Colosseum, this isn't very uh, much of a geographically correct game, but uh, they did a nice job throwing just a random hodgepodge of stuff for you to pick up. See, we're moving quickly to a bigger size, we're picking up townhouses, there's a little castle we're gonna go over here and see what's over her oh we gotta get a hop going hop picking up uh statues i've never seen before and the seems to be the middle east with the oil crisis bam okay that whole iran problem solved right there giant ass katamari all right so we're gonna be picking up more cities more mushrooms this is the most cluttered world i've probably ever been like you know just had the pleasure of Really, oh, I can pick up that little thing, hopefully. There we go. Now we'll be able to pick up anything that we're close to that's uh, small enough to be picked up. will instantly be dragged towards me. It's going to be a huge boost. We're nowhere near the uh, one kilometer size that we need. A one kilometer is 1,000 meters for you guys that are, like, you know, not super uh, awesome in math. So we have a long ways to go in about four minutes or so. But uh, I think I'm making good pace. You, once you get to a certain size, you start picking up anything and everything, and you just start beasting it. You just get huge. Back in Japan or China. No, it's China. It's the Great Wall right there. We're going to pick up sections of that if I can. Nope, not big enough yet. We'll be back for you, damn wall. We'll be back for you. Right, start to pick up some clouds, some satellite dishes. We're in the desert over there, Death Valley. There's King Kong, I'm guessing that's New York. Big old friggin' octopus. Pirate ships, I don't know where the hell you find pirate ships, but uh, yeah, they're over there. Um, I think we found Godzilla fighting uh, another Godzilla. Lots of Godzillas, kill, kill. They're not really Godzillas because they didn't get the licensing for them, but guess what, they're Godzilla. All right, just sucked up everything again. There's some dinosaurs. You guys know there's dinosaurs around, right? There's an island out in the middle of nowhere. Jurassic Park. Oh, Jurassic Park. Yep, that's Jurassic Park. Mount Fuji. We'll be packed for you, Fuji, later. We're gonna start picking up the pace, going faster and faster and faster. Once we hit, I think, about 300 meters. There we go. Whoa, I just jumped a whole 100 meters in like half a second. So we're starting to pick up land masses nothing is safe there's the king of all cosmos he's a huge bitch and he's running around keep going robo king i really like you to go away buddy i love you but you're just you're blocking my path <laughs> there's some like hurricanes and stuff we're gonna be picking it all up nature is not even safe okay against katamari and a determined uh prince i'm actually playing as one of the cousins usually plays this little green guy but uh, I like the snow cone head of this one a lot better than the prince. So, oh, we hit one kilometer. We have succeeded in our goal. We're just going to be going because once you hit your goal, you don't just stop. You keep going. You want to get as big as possible. And the bigger you get, the more points you get. And the uh, better uh, celestial body that you make. In this case, we're making the Big Bang. So we're going to make the bestest Big Bang ever. All right, so just 
Be ready for that and shield your eyes. Get your sunglasses up before the end of this level. You got two minutes to find your sunglasses. Picked up Antarctica. There's that Mount Fuji. Got it! Jeez, that is a huge ass whale. Oh my god, we'll be back. I'll pick up these rain clouds, make somebody's day a little bit happier. So it's not raining on their parade, or my parade in that case. Not big enough to pick up a goddamn volcano. Oh no, oh no. We're reaching into heaven, guys. Little angels. Weird oblong shaped angels. <laughs> oh, found the prince. Floating cities. You guys didn't know they were up there, but they are. Don't worry. Just pretend you don't know they're up there and they won't have to kidnap you and brainwash you and uh, wipe your memory and all that stuff. And I'm pretty sure that's what they do. <laughs> oh man, if we can reach three kilometers, I'll be happy. It'll be a respectable size Katamari. And uh, believe it or not, this is not the biggest level that you can play on. You, there's actually levels where you get even bigger than this. <clears throat> In one of the Katamari games, you actually pick up whole continents, like you go pick up the United States. It's one big chunk of land. There's your mama, the queen. Picks her up. And eventually there gets to be not so much stuff to pick up. We're gonna get the king, we got him, and he's like, what the hell, bro? But we're gonna turn him into a giant uh, Big Bang. I don't know if they actually like kill people when you do that, but uh, I'm assuming you know, the king shoots him with his eye lasers and blows him up. I'm guessing no one survives, so... Uh, I don't know, that is to be determined. Oh, we gotta pick up that little thing on the ground. We're gonna go super mode for a second. Oh, there's no super run anymore because I'm, I'm too big. I'm too big to push that fast. But we have made it. <clears throat> Got enough time. I'm gonna show you guys one more level, one of my favorite levels. It uh, goes off the tail of like Hansel and Gretel in the candy house owned by the witch. You get to basically demolish the candy house. It's, it's so much fun. I could play that level over and over and over again. Maybe four times tops and I get bored, but <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right, that was Katamari Drive. Let's uh, see what how I did. I want to see analyzing the size. I want him to tell me, damn, it's big. Unbelievable size. Pretty much that's what he said. So, yeah, and I don't think three kilometers wide is a uh, big as a planet, buddy. <clears throat> All right, we collected over thirteen thousand objects, mostly nature and plants and streets. Hundred and twenty, highest score you can get. I. Th I think my old score is probably better though. We'll, we'll see in a second. It's going to compare it. So we get to make it into Big Bang. There's my old Big Bang. Oh, we were so close. We were only uh, about four, five, six, six meters off from beating my old high score. Damn, well, this one gets turned to dust. Say la vie. Bye, everybody in the whole world. Zoom. All right, well, I made Stardust. All right, we're going to quit. We're going to go. To the other mode and i will show you one of my favorite levels and then that will be it for day seven marking a whole entire week for my 365 game series <clears throat> i might have to show you guys some of the other katamari games because there's some levels that are just like so different so unique for the playstation 2 but you have to wait for that that'll be uh something i do much later i'm not going to cram games all Together like this, we're gonna go to the gingerbread house. We're gonna go classic Katamari forever, and we're gonna pick an awesome song. Let's see, where's my techno style? Hmm, where is my techno style? There's an awesome song. There we go. This one is for all the ladies with the sexy synthesizer, all about Namco mix. All right. Hope you guys enjoy. There's the king of all cosmos, scumbag of a dad. In the first first game, he got drunk off his ass and blew up all the stars in the whole entire like galaxy. And that was what you had to do. You had to roll up catamaris to make stars. So Yeah, he, he didn't understand there's no flying through a galaxy drunk as shit because you will uh, ping, uh, pinball bounce off all of them and just destroy the whole freaking thing all together. 
Alright, there's Hansel and Gretel. We're just gonna say we don't care about the king. Come on. And we have to pick up as many of these sweets as we can. And then go back and pick up Hansel and Gretel. Bam! Just barrel through that wall. We're already making huge size. Donuts, cookies level makes me hungry every time. Chocolate. I'm a chocoholic. If anybody ever wants to send me something that really just makes me super happy, Kuda, you can uh, send me some chocolate. <laughs> send me some crazy special chocolate. So, and that'll make me, like, just, you know, pretty damn happy. Let's see. I'm going to pick up this thing. Bam! Majority of the house is ours. We're going to try to go and pick up 100% of the candy, though. Yeah, I know it's enough to pick up the brother and sister, but uh, guess what? Kuda don't stop halfway, alright? Everything's made of candy in this level. The trees, the pigs, the animals, the horses, I'm guessing. Get the hell out of here, honey. She's the only thing not really made of candy. Her and the, the chillins that we're going to be going down, the witch. Oh, we'll come back for you, witch. will be ours. Yes, I know, roll up the siblings. Thank you, King. He never believes in you. He never thinks you have any, uh, thing that you can do on your own. It's kind of sad. He's the most condescending, like, father figure ever. He's kind of meh. feel sorry for the prince, but, you know, it's a hard not life. He's gonna be king of all cosmos one day. Gotcha, witch! Alright, we're gonna keep going. We got about a minute left. Pick up as much of this sweet, sugary goodness that we can. Jesus, I'm literally a kid in a candy store right now. All these blocky, sugary delights. Let's go. Only have one minute. Every little bit counts. Ah, man, and there are lots of different stages in this game, sort of like this one, little special ones. There's an underwater one that's really cool. There's one where you get to go shopping, where you're trying to get the most expensive Katamari, so you don't have to find necessarily the biggest things. You go for, like, diamond rings and stuff. It's pretty cool. It gives you a total at the end. Oh, man, I don't think we're going to get 100%. Oh, God, i got to pick up this last. All right, back up the hill. Up the hill. Push it. Push it real good. Oh man, we're gonna miss a couple. Probably gonna hit about 99%. Oh wait, we're gonna go back. One, two, okay, I think I might have got it. Pick up Hansel and Gretel! Alright, let's see what my score is. My Katamari is as big as 276 sweet plates. I don't know what a sweet plate is or how big they are, but damn, that's a big Katamari. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna get my tally. Then I'll have to say goodbye to you guys today. All you guys and gals out there that are watching my series, I appreciate it. Every time I hit 100 views, my heart just lights up. I'm super excited, super happy. Ah, oh, we missed something. 99%. Oh, man. Fat, pimply, toothless, not so dulce, whatever. I couldn't read it because it went by too fast. Uh, mostly snacks, fantasy. Couple chillins, couple chillins. Good roll, yes, sir. Oh, it's gotta be a 120 score. Yep, yeah, but I don't think it's as good as my last one. Pretty sure I hit the 100% uh, mark. Oh, God, I missed one thing in the whole level. I knew it was gonna happen, but that's okay. Turn it to Stardust. You can't beat perfection, so there's no reason to try, I guess. <clears throat> Alright guys, well that brings an end to my Katamari Forever Day. I love this game, I love this series, you're going to see probably more of it by the time this whole thing's done. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to bring you lots more wacky craziness this week. Uh, it's going to be pretty insane. Hopefully I show you at least two or three more games that you just never heard of before. And just blow your freaking minds, alright? Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Peace.